Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, it is very interesting. We are in 2022 now. Um, four years ago, January of 2018, a the world kind of woke up with a pretty amazing news for computers. Um, it was deemed that pretty much every computer and every um, CPU made if for you know 20 years if not more add a basic and very important security flaw and several security flaws actually and that has been going on for 20 years before it was actually discovered pretty much and Intel and AMD kind of scrambled in there to try to you know get this and and it was found that there's a lot more than just Intel and AMD chips um, even other types of chips including uh, ARM chips had some form of security flaw due to this. Spectre and Mel Meltdown were uh, actually uh, two names or two words that became very popular back then. Now we're in 2022, and it's interesting because as we move on, um, you know, fixes uh, in firmware and um, also within mitigation, like within the browsers, help kind of, you know, make sure that this is mitigated to the maximum and, and to make sure that hackers cannot exploit this easily. But we still find that, you know, there's new variants and new um, ways of basically um, bypassing the security fixes that are found all the time. And we're in 2022, and Spectre and um, Meltdown, especially Spectre, are still haunting our CPUs today and uh, just lately in the last few weeks. Intel and AMD had to brush up their microchip uh, firmware because they had, you know, other flaws that were discovered. And it's impacting our performance. Um, latest numbers are showing that um, for some machines, performance can be as 30% um, slower than what it could be if we didn't have these fixes in there. And of course, as time goes by, they try to make them a lot more efficient. But boy, we are still, even today, into this. And even the latest chips, the latest, you know, Intel and AMD chips that technically should have, you know, been fixed for all of this are still trapped in the, um, the Spectre problem. Uh, mainly because of their compatibility of, you know, hardware and software. But it's um, pretty amazing to see that still today we're haunted by this and that our performance uh, are, are bad. The latest bugs and the latest flaws apparently didn't affect much AMD, but AMD suddenly decided to issue its own fixes also, which is kind of interesting, which means that AMD deems that even their chips are possibly affected by the problem but it's pretty crazy to think that four years into this more than four years now still haunted by the security flaws of specter and meltdown on cpus uh in pcs if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching